What up, team? You wanted Serotty Rogue Guide? I'll give you Serotty Rogue Guide. That sounded like a threat. So, let's just go through talents really fast. Go through all our talents. I'll tell you the place now, and we're good to go in 10 minutes. Alright, let's time this. First talent, Master of Serotty. Why you want to pick this? Because most of the time, you spend your time in Shadow Dance, which is basically stale, so you have increased damage all the time. You want Subterfuge for longer Shadow Dance, and you want Vigor for more energy, so you can refresh Shadow Dance faster. I'll explain later. You want Soothing Darkness, because it synergizes with Stealth, and as I said, most of the time you sit in Stealth or Shadow Dance. You have Prey on the Weak, which is debatable between Strike from the Shadows, which is better for Peeling, and Prey on the Weak, which is better for Burst. It depends on the setup you have, and if you're setting up with your own stuns, but this is just a safer go. Premutation, so you can reset Shadow Dance faster, I'll explain later. A Master of Shadows, so you can get more resets, I'll explain later. Honor Talents. Uh, I tried the three. Honestly, I don't know which one is best. This one is just... I find myself trinketing the first thing anyway. That's pretty long. And this does it for me and it reduces the cooldown by 60 seconds. Or like, whatever. Or it becomes 60 seconds or something. So, you basically can trinket almost every stun. You have this for extra health, this is rarely used against Bleak Leaves. You have this all the time because it's just broken. You have this because most of the time you spend spent in Shadow Dance, so you just get your cooldowns faster. You get Cold Blood for the added burst when you need it. Although currently it does not work with Shadow Dance, so you do need to vanish to use it. But the other two are just completely useless. So. And you want this one to make the Shadow Dance faster. Okay, we went through the talents. I'm gonna go through the playstyle as fast as possible. And I'll try to explain the best. So, basically what you want to do is get as fast as possible combo points and dump them as fast as possible. So, that's where the premutation comes in for extra combo points on... Shadow Strike and Cheap Shot, a Master of Shadows for pressing Shadow Dance all over, again, over and over again. So you want to get 5 combo points or 4 combo points as fast as possible and quickly use Eviscerate or Night Blade or whatever you want to do so you can get the reset, whatever that is. This one. Each combo point you spend reduces their remaining cooldown on Shadow Dance. If you do it properly, and you keep presetting your shadow dance. You like I've done the math. You need somewhere around eighteen combo points, maybe, to reset a shadow dance. And the duration is eight seconds. Shadow strike that gives two combo points. You can do it. You can do shadow, shadow strike, shadow strike, and then eviscerate. And you have extra combo points from somewhere I think it's somewhere in the artifact also you can just implement the Gormos Bite which is the artifact weapon so you can regenerate energy as fast as possible if you need it also the arcane torrent for also energy if you need it and every time you press shadow dance you gain 30 energy so that ensures you you don't run out of it well you do if you get bad energy but usually you don't we're quickly going to do a skirmish, so I can kind of demonstrate the rotation, like ignore the, I'm not actually going to try to win. I'm just going to show the basic rotation, how to do it, and how to keep resetting it over and over again. I wish I had true for GCD so you can see the buttons I'm pressing, but I guess you can slow down the video and everything so you can see what I do every global give my common points and shout dance resets and you do want the first thing the first finisher you do you do want to have shout dance on so you can just begin the reset as fast as possible because it's pointless 
to open from Stell with Child Strike and Cheap Shot and then Rupture without Child Dancing is just a waste of opportunity to reset the charges because you already have the combo points. So you start with Cold Blood, you run in, you put your focus target. Let's say we're opening on that guy because we don't have time. Shadow Blades, Cheap Shot and start resetting it. Resetting as fast as possible. Get 5 common points, reset it. Shadow Dance again. Reset over and over again. And I'm keeping max energy all the time. And I'm keeping my Shadow Dance stacks. And I'm healing. And I have my combo points. It's just a very quick, dynamic gameplay. It's pretty spammy. But once you kind of master it, you can go a long time with the Shadow Dance charges you have. I'm running out of energy. So I'm doing the... Using the Arcane Torrent. Keep resetting. I would kick that if I didn't have 200 MS. I still have Shadow Dance charges. Th this is where the PvP Trinket comes in. I still have my Shadow Dance charges. You can Rupture through Bob. Use the weapon because I don't have enough energy. And this is where I mount the Shadow Dance charges by spamming it. 1 minute 30 seconds. is where the energy ends. So, if you do want to watch it again and see exactly what I did, you can slow down. I would probably recommend slowing down the video because even if I want it, I, I don't really know what I did. I'm just generating the combo points with Shadow Strike and Cheap Shot on different targets that are in different DRs. You don't do it as efficiently if you're playing seriously, because obviously I'm just hitting whatever I want. So, in a real arena against a real team with a real team, you won't get to spam that much, but you can keep a big burst for more than a minute. So, I guess that's it. I think we did it under 10 minutes. It's just under 8 minutes. And that is that. That's the subtlety guide. That's pretty much what you do. Get five common points, dumb them. Get five common points, dumb them. And never be on three shell dance stacks. As soon as the arena starts and you open, you press shell dance and make them two stacks so they start recharging. So, yeah. If you have any questions, I'll make sure I answer them as well as I can, I guess.